What's up Tenaria family? Hey, welcome back to another vlog. But I'm actually showing you guys how to distress, do your own hashtag jackets, and it's very simple for under $35. What's good Tenania fam? Today we didn't vlog today. Reason being is dun, 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 I'm going to do something a little bit different. Um, I, as you guys know we love fashion um, and we're in the industry and I'm going to do something a little bit interesting. So, dun, 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 I've got a denim jacket here that I'm going to distress. I'm going to show you guys how I distress my clothes. Um, I'm not a wait. I am a bit of a brand um, brand uh, person, but most of my clothes I buy online or I do them myself or I get them made in Bali. So this jacket is from Kmart. As you can see, it's just a normal um, denim jacket that we're going to distress along the arms. I'm going to show you how to do that and put some writing on it. So we're going to give it a little bit more of an edginess to it. All right, guys. Hope you enjoy it. Um, hey, don't forget, if you like this video, at the end of it, go hams. Go ham on the, um, the like button on the bottom there. All right, guys, thank you for subscribing. Love you guys. Check out the video. So guys, we're going to need you to grab a few things. That's a kitchen knife for distressing, obviously. But most importantly, we need you to get some scissors. Yep, grab yourself some scissors. Uh, it's going to help you with cutting the thread. And also, we're going to do some writing on these jackets. So. Grab yourself a felt tip, also a razor, but most importantly, some tweezers. Tweezers is going to help you uh, get really deep into the thread as well. So a few things that you're going to need. You might not need the razor, but it's just always good to have that little bit extra on um, with all your tools. All right, guys, let's get started. So as I said before, this jacket is from Kmart. The jacket cost me about $20. I think that's a reasonable price um, for a jacket from Kmart. 20 bucks, man. If you've got an old jacket, mate, go and grab it and let's do a makeover on it. Grab yourself a pencil. Uh, let's start with the collar, guys. So, what we're going to do with the collar is um, just lay your jacket down, grab yourself your scissors, halfway down the collar. Don't be scared to cut, 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 cut. Um, normally, you know, you just have to remember that you're only de-stressing so go straight down don't worry about a straight line um, just make sure that you have cut it open so you can start distressing it all right guys it's time to pull out those tweezers so there's enough for your eyebrows to pull out to start distressing that collar now you're probably wondering why we're distressing the collar. Have you not seen what's on the um, what's out at the moment? It's the distressed collar, and it looks cool. I'm going to zoom it in for you, and now I'm going to show you. Um, don't forget to take the ends of the collar off. That's where the distressing starts, um, and start your distressing from there. Don't be fussy with it. I'm not fussy um, with distressing of it. Just take out the white or blue, whatever threads there. No matter what thread you take out, it's always going to look cool. Alright guys. So you can start to see, as you're pulling um, away at the thread, it starts to give this really cool distress look. Um, now work your way all the way around to the end of the collar. It may take you about half an hour to do it, but the end result is going to look amazing. It's going to look lit guys. Now. Why am I grabbing a fork? The fork I find is the best. But I did leave the kitchen knives out for you um, on, so you can see um, that you can use that as well. But the fork is the best to get your holes through there and it looks a bit, little bit more natural looking instead of just a, a proper cut. 
now you can see the jacket starting to lit. look lit guys how cool is that so also another person that's bringing out these distressed looks and more that sort of gothic sort of look is Kanye West with his um, Yeezy um, uh, collection now don't forget to create those cool little holes you can start to uh, don't forget to use the fork sorry um, but the best result to take the thread out is always have a tweezer on the hand guys keep going you're almost there all right guys you can see we're on the other end now so don't forget to cut that end off otherwise it's gonna look a little bit tacky all right so grab your fork and start stabbing at that jacket all right you can see the inside starting to be exposed so when you do cut it you start to get a top flap and a bottom flap make sure you distress both sides the inside will start to be exposed as you can see i start to grab that thread as well and start valuing at that jacket all right guys enjoy it enjoy it Yeah, the color looks cool now. Now, my full follow your jacket out. Flatten out your jacket, get the creases out, and get that pencil because it's time to do some tagging, do some graffiti on that jacket. Now, when it comes to figuring out what to write on your jacket, this is a personal um, preference. I went with um, a Bible verse that everybody body pretty much knows I just think it's cool to have on my jacket um, but you can pretty much do whatever you want on there um, do it big you can do a few quotes um, you can do one quote you can do a picture um, the next one I'm gonna do an iron on um, for our next vlog so you know what pick whatever you want and write it on that jacket now as you saw before I had a bit of a fail I did have a white sort of paint texture just didn't work out for me it was a massive fail do do so I grabbed a uh, black felt tip or sharpie. Sharpies are good. You can use as many colors as you want, but I used a, a black felt tip and just go a little bit rough because you've got a distressed look. So you're wanting to go with more of a distressed sort of font um, and look like you've just drawn it on. But trust me, the look's gonna look lit. Just a tip when you're um, doing this, as I said before, do it rough, but once you get got your whole text on there, just go over again and add a few lines, add a few colors to it if you want. I, as I said, I've chosen the black, but I've added a few lines so it just looks a bit more rugged to suit the look. Now to add to the look, I'm gonna distress a little bit more. Um, yes, we have distressed the collar, but grab yourself um, a knife, um, this time just to give it a little bit more edginess to um, to the cut and uh, this, this dress is going to look awesome. So I'm just showing you a few different techniques that you can use. As before, I used the fork on the collar. Um, this is just using um, a, you know any household knife that you got in the kitchen. See how it looks a little bit more rugged? If you use the scissors to insert, um, or cut your um, the cut it's gonna look a little bit more um, tidy and you want to have that more distressed look then grab the faithful tweezers um, and start plucking away to give that more distressed look and now grab the fork and just roll it along you know distress a little bit more and you know be creative use what you have all right, so grab that pencil again. Turn your jacket around. I'm going with this little panel in the front of my jacket um, and I'm putting hashtag Tinani your family. Don't forget, use your pencil first, just the outline. But if you know what you want, go straight in with your Sharpie. So I'm continuing it on. Hashtag Tinani your family. Hashtag Tinani your family. All the way down in that panel. Have fun with it, guys. If you've got a YouTube channel, try it out. And you know what? It's good advertising, more subscribers. All right, guys, another tip for you is if you come across a pocket or um, a button or anything like that, 
go over it because that's all part of the look as you can see here it starts to look pretty cool every time i'm writing hashtag tenanya family and i'm going over the pocket don't go hmm better stop carry it on keep going keep going because remember you want it to look lit 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 all right guys i want to carry on with the um, hashtag tenanya family but i want to do it in a bigger font something a little bit different so as I said before, don't be shy to go over the buttons and pockets. It is so important for you to do that. Um, so if you see my font goes a little bit more different, I'm doing this freehand. Up to you, you can use a stencil, you can use an iron on, but I've decided to use the black Sharpie and just do it freehand. See that guys, with the A, I've just gone right over the pocket, but don't forget to lift up the pocket because you want it to carry on the, all the way through underneath the pocket as well. It's looking good guys, so don't forget, if you've got a YouTube channel, um, go for it, do a hashtag, um, write it on your jacket there um, in support of your channel. Look at that guys, hashtag Tinania family. Yeah, that's pretty cool. This could be, you know, um, a gift for um, one of your subscribers. It can be a gift for your mom. Could be a gift for anybody. But um, yeah, these these are quite cool because they are unisex. You can add a few jewels to it. Um, I'll explain later that I'll be doing Brenda's, uh, sorry, Miss B, and the girls' jackets um, next week, which will have uh, open back, but also jewels running through it too. Stay tuned, guys. <laughs> so I just decided to go a little bit ham with this jacket and added the crown jewels of a crown. You know, as I said, you can pretty much do whatever you want. I could have put a patch here that, um, that I found, you know, anywhere. Um, we can do an iron on pretty much anything you want yeah guys most importantly don't stress out about it just have um, fun with it it's fashion it's art do whatever you want to it um, but most of all just go with the flow so I've added just a few more distress some um, holes with my um, with my fork and you know what I hope you guys enjoyed it hope you guys uh, enjoy doing your own done guys look at that I hope you enjoyed that tutorial um, show you the back show you the back there um, then I've put hashtag in little writing hashtag Tinanya family just continued it all the way down there but I've also put in big writing hashtag Tinanya family with the crown on there but <coughs> I've distressed it a little bit there and just a little bit on my on the back side because I think it's it's totally enough um, if you have a look at the Gucci um, website they've got this cool men's jacket that has all these distressed collars there's no collar on it anymore as you saw I already cut it off all right guys I hope you enjoyed it and if you have man go show us some love go show us some mad love down the bottom there um, don't forget to subscribe to all our new subscribers welcome to the Tinario family Hope you enjoyed it. We're going to do more videos like this. Um, yeah, let us know what you want us to do. My next video is going to be how I distress jeans, uh, which I think is pretty cool. But I'm going to do a girl's jacket um, for bees and the girls, which has the whole back hollow. And I'm going to have chains going through them. How cool is that? And you know, they might have some chains hanging here. It doesn't like bling bling. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget. 
Hashtag Tinania family. Doing the draw today on Tuesday. Alright guys, there's three things we'd like you to do. That's like, subscribe, and share. Bye Tinania family. Cheers.